Hey folks, I want to talk to you a little bit about the handgun today. Uh, some certain specific handgun skills that might be useful to you. I know a lot of you are concealed carry out there, uh, and this may help you also once you modify it for your own technique. I'm going to talk about three things. Number one is the five count presentation. Number two is indexing. And number three is scanning. Basically, the five count presentation is developed as a systematic way of drawing your handgun. Now, I know a lot of you, especially you concealed carry folks, do not carry square on the hip such as this. You're carrying in your lower back, some of you in your ankle, uh, or what have you. However, if you develop a systematic method from drawing your handgun each and every time, you will have better results and more quickly acquiring your handgun, acquiring your sights, and getting effective shots downrange. The first count in this five count presentation is one. On count one, you have placed your non-shooting hand near your belt buckle. This is to keep it out of the way. Later, more advanced drills will have you, bam, impacting with that non-shooting hand to push away your adversary as you're drawing. Okay, so that non-shooting hand for the, from the, for the beginners is right here on the belt buckle. Your shooting hand has acquired your final firing grip on the handgun and has released the retention method. Retention on this particular holster is the push button. On others, it's a snap to be broken. On others, it's a push forward. So, on count one, you are going to put your non-shooting hand on your belt buckle, acquire your final firing grip, and release your retention. Count two is rock and lock. Look at where this is. I have indexed this, index, we'll talk more about that later, but I have practiced this enough times so that it is muscle memory, so I always feel my thumb hit in the same place on my pec so that I can fire from this position too. So if this person is up on me and I have gone through number one and engaged and come to number two, I'm able to engage from this position if necessary. Number three. Number three is simply hands together. Center of the body, boom. Number four is pushing out. And number five is on target and engaging. To holster, it's the exact reverse. Straight through, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that's the five count presentation. Will it work for everyone? No, it won't for work for concealed carry folks who carry uh, small of the back or who carry on the ankle but it pays to be systematic about it and it pays to develop something where can I engage I can engage at count two I can engage at count three and then pushing out I can engage here going to count four and then I'm on target and I'm engaging so it's defensive measures it's acquiring it quickly and it gives you a fighting chance the next thing I want to talk about is indexing. Number one, indexing on your equipment. Always have your equipment set up exactly the same. Always carry it the same exact way. Why? When you've practiced it 1,500 times, you know where it is. And it's there for you. Uh, when you say, oh, it's here today, tomorrow I'm going to wear my leg holster, tomorrow, the next day I'm going to wear it in the small of my back, you're reaching in the wrong place during a stress situation. Okay, so 
index your equipment. Number two is index when you go for your magazine. Magazines are set up on this particular rig to face forward. They're facing forward so I can grab them exactly the same way every time. The way that I grab them is with the toe of the magazine on the ball of my thumb here. My index finger is all the way up near the point of the round. The reason for this is I'm out, I'm up, I'm engaging, I need to reload, I drop that magazine, I reach, I index, I turn it up, that finger, index finger assists me, and I use the, the heel of my hand to push that magazine firmly into place. Chamber around, ready to go. That is indexing. One other quick item on this is scanning. If you're in a fight, you get tunnel vision amazingly quickly. I've been in restraining suspects and I'm working with one guy here and I've come into the situation and even though I've been trained and trained and trained and been in a lot of different environments, over here there's another fight taking place with two other officers and I wasn't even aware of it. So you get tunnel vision. So what I want you to do, how I want you to counter tunnel vision is when you engage, bam, bam, look left and look right. Train yourself, that muscle memory, to look left and look right after each string of shots. What this is, is trying to break that habit or create a new habit to break you away from that tunnel vision so you're always looking for the next threat your eyes go where your muzzle goes and your muzzle goes where your eyes go remember you fire those two rounds down range and then you look left and you look right and you're looking for another target this is scanning so we've covered five count presentation, we've covered indexing, and we've covered scanning. Thanks for your time. Stay safe.